As we all know, Frank Sinatra was an American icon. He sold more than 150 million albums and won 11 Grammy Awards. But off the stage, he fiercely guarded his privacy. Not many people were allowed in his inner circle. But one New Haven man knew him better than anyone. In the book, Sinatra and Me, The Very Good Years, the late Tony Consiglio told the story of their incredible friendship. He told that story to winning award-winning writer Franz Dusky, who is on the show today. Franz, thank you so much for being here. Interesting stuff. Teresa, thank you for having me on. Uh, so, if Frank Sinatra was alive today, how old would he be? Um, he would be 96. And full of a lot of stories, 90, right? 97 in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, Tony Consiglio was very well known in New Haven. He passed away back in 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, he helped run Sally's. That's right. He established Sally's with his brother, Salvatore. Okay. And the reason it's called Sally's is because Tony was younger than Sally, and Sally was old enough to get a beer and cider permit, so it got to be Sally's. Got it. Now, how did you become friends with Tony? Well, that was just uh, accidental. I used to go to Sally's restaurant, still do, quite a lot. One Sunday afternoon, Ruthie was on the phone. Then she came over to me and said, Franz, uh, my uncle's on the phone. And I had heard a lot about Tony and the photos of Tony with Frank mm -hmm. and uh, Joe Kennedy and a whole bunch of people at the restaurant. And so I got on the phone, and Tony said, uh, I said hello, and Tony said, hey, Ruthie says you're all right, which meant I passed some kind of standard. So they trusted you. So I could you. be trusted, right. Because Tony never really talked about Frank mm -mm. at all. No, even though uh, a number of writers had sent him checks and, and said they wanted him to uh, work with them on the book, mm -hmm. but uh, Tony never did. He'd sent the ch he sent the checks back. So what happened? Uh, you went uh, over there, they invited you over, you were going to chat. Yeah, I was going to have a brief talk. It was uh, the following Tuesday, and uh, I thought I might stay there an hour, hour and a half, and it turned out we stayed, I stayed there four and a half hours, and Tony kept bringing out all these in incredible photos that no one had ever seen before. Tony with uh, Martin and Lewis and Pierre Salinger and Tony Bennett, and uh, y uh, you name it. Uh -huh. And uh, I was just amazed. And then we started talking, and I said, well, Tony, uh, here's how I work. I interview people, I do it on a recorder, I type it up, and then I give it back to the person. They can say, hey, this is what I meant, you didn't get it right, or... That's great, you give them a second chance to kind of fix anything they might not have oh, wanted to say. absolutely, because I don't want any problem, I don't want any headaches, sure. and I'm not out to hurt anybody, to expose them, or... Sure. I want it right. All right, well, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Frank, because you learned... <clears throat> we saw him in the spotlight, but he was actually kind of a private guy. Very, yeah, very. Uh, very private. He, I mean, he liked partying with his friends, mm -hmm. uh, whether it was Sammy, Peter, Dean, uh, Shirley MacLaine uh, was part of that whole thing. And if we looked back far enough, it would be Ernie Kovacs, of course, and Edie, mm -hmm. uh, Edie Adams. Uh, yeah, uh, but other than that, he really liked to control his situation. In other words, even when he went out to a restaurant, he would have Tony go the, to that particular restaurant early in the day to find out what is there another way we can get out of here without going oh. through the main re, uh, entrance if there's a if there's a crowd sure. so he was, he really liked to control his privacy and yeah. what did tony tell you about other of the uh, any other famous people that uh, he might have hung out with <laughs> oh well i mean where do we start uh, grace <laughs> kelly prince rainier uh, uh as i mentioned he was with joe kennedy the night of, at, uh, at the Kennedy compound in Hyannisport the night of uh, Kennedy's election in November of 1960. And Tony said the, the, it was decided when Chicago came in for Kennedy and that gave him Illinois. Tony said, Mr. Kennedy, how are we going to know? No one's going to know I was here, so could we take a picture? So in our book, mm -hmm. we have a picture of uh, Tony with uh, Joe Kennedy, and Joe Kennedy's in his bathrobe. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> But we have a, a lot of unpublished photos in the book and some wonderful letters. Now, did you plan on writing a book, or you just had so much information? What was the initial <laughs> thought? Well, the initial thought was, well, I think I'll meet Tony. <laughs> <laughs> the initial thought after a discussion, maybe we'll do an article. We did an article for Yankee Magazine called The Man Who Knew Everyone, because Tony, in a sense, is our zealot. I mean, he, has, he was in the dugout with Lou Gehrig, Wow. The day Lou Gehrig gave his uh, famous farewell speech on July 4th, 1941. Uh, I am the luckiest man in the world. Well, we have that photo in the book. Wow. 
So what's interesting about Tony, he has a lot of connections, but also he's got the photos to document so much of this, and, that, and then also lots of letters sure. from uh, Evelyn Lincoln and Bobby Kennedy and uh, Sammy Davis Jr. This is just Jr. fascinating stuff. It, you know, it, I really love this book, mm. only oh. because it's so funny. A lot of funny stories in it. We are, where can we find the book? Well, it's... Um, we know it's at R.J. Julia's, of course, okay. Barnes & Noble, online, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. That's pretty we're readily available then, right? Yeah, we're putting it it's in four formats. Oh, wow. All right, there's a picture of the book. The name again is Sinatra and Me, The Very Good Years. Franz, that was great, really fascinating stuff. We could keep going forever. Well, <laughs> we'll have to read I the book, so. I guess. Yeah, we will. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for being here. Hey, it's a pleasure. All right. Thank you a whole lot. Sure thing. Yeah. Coming up next, cooking instructor Heidi Lang is here with a delicious recipe for pumpkin soup. That's when style returns. Don't go anywhere.